Welcome to the Harmony module. Get ready for a new challenge. Let's get right into it. We've covered how at the essence or core of a song, there are three elements, melody, harmony, and rhythm. We've begun exploring the first one, the most identifiable piece of a song. Now we've gotten pretty familiar with what melody is and how it works. It moves up, down, or stays the same. We've gotten to know how melodic motion can be defined by half steps on a grid and how the major scale helps us translate raw sound into tangible scale degrees. We also know about matching, relating, and feeling as we focus in and listen deeply and actively to the melodies we love. And now we understand the melodic process of listening, defining, and playing back on our instruments what we've written. And finally, we've gotten acquainted with the concept of a virtual model and how our aim is to be able to know with certainty how to play whatever it is we're hearing as we're hearing it before we touch our instruments. Many of you are still getting to know what that looks and feels like day to day in your practice as you work through the song puzzles. Keep up that good work and remember to use the mistakes that you make along the way to tell you more about your process. As we begin to listen to and process harmony, we will require all of the above and a little bit more to make the raw sounds of chords and chord progressions into something tangible. And as I always say, it won't be easy, but we'll try to make it simple. I mentioned back in episode three of the melody module that harmony can be thought of as simultaneous vertical relationships between multiple notes. Whereas melody is more about horizontal relationships over time, harmony, at least initially, can be thought of as vertical, as pitches can be lower or higher relative to each other. So multiple simultaneous pitches can also be lower or higher relative to others. If melody can be thought of as a line, then harmony can be thought of as colorful structures. Lines connect the dots or points of melody, known as pitches or notes. And they also give shape or clues to the DNA of a melody, the essence of how melody works. Structures, however, can be stacked up high like skyscrapers or built low like one floor homes. They can be plain and simple or vibrant and complex. They can be dark and ominous or they can be light and pleasant. And one of the coolest things about structures is that they can be enjoyed and viewed from many angles. We'll learn how to build these structures and appreciate their colors as we go. If melody is the most identifiable part of a song, then harmony brings something to the party. Harmony supports, enriches, and decorates melody, making a song even more sonically substantial. Stay tuned as we explore how chords are built and how the major scale is still our codebreaker. <laughs>